Hello everyone. I'm here today to read you a story that is called My Heart Sings a Sad Song by Gary Allen Shockley. What I love about this story, it is a, a good book for adults to use when there's been a very recent death and a young child. It gives them both the opportunity to sit down and have the conversation and talk about the feelings and talk about the experience and how much it hurts. The book has wonderful questions that a child can then answer for themselves, an adult can talk about. Um, I feel adults and children making the opportunity to have these conversations and opening the door is very important. So this is a way for both of them to start it and to feel comfortable doing it. My Heart Sings a Sad Song. My heart sings a sad song because someone I love has died. I tried to be brave and sing a glad song, but my heart just wants to cry. Everyone says that I'll be okay, but this minute, I don't think that it's true. There's an ache deep inside me, way down in my heart, and it comes from being without you. Where have you gone? Will I see you again? Will you miss me? My heart needs to know. Did it hurt when you left me? Were you ready to rest? Are you where you wanted to go? Everyone tells me you're happier now, but that won't make it easier for me. My heart has been broken. I feel very sad, <laughs> as sad as a person can be. I know that you, I love you, and you love me too. My heart needs to know this as well. So I talk to my heart and speak gentle words. Many stories about you I'll tell. My family will help me. I know that they will. They'll love me and care for my tears. They'll tell me great stories about how you lived and loved us through all of these years. Together we'll miss you. Together we'll heal. Together we'll love you and cry. Together you're with us deep down in our hearts, and that is the best reason why, that someday my heart will sing a new song, a happy song, it is true, a song of remembrance, a song full of love, a song that will celebrate you. I hope you've enjoyed this story, My Heart Sings a Sad Song. I've included an activity that you can do either right after the book or if your child has really got the conversation going and then they're kind of ready to move on to something else, which is typical of a kid that could be seven years and younger, please go with that. Um, you can pull this activity out at any time. The activity is very simple. You need three pieces of paper and you need either crayons, markers, pens, whatever you have in the house to write with. And on each piece of paper, you're gonna write something different. At the top of the first page, you're going to write life with my person, and you can use their name. The second page, you're going to write life without my person, and you can put that person's name. And the last page, you're going to put my hopes and, my hopes and dreams for my family in the future. What's nice about this is you can sit down with the child, and if they can write, that's great. If they can't, then have the adult scribe, but talk about what life was like when your person was with you and all of the things that you loved about it or the struggles or the difficulties that were going on um, and then move to the next page of what is different, what has changed and, and what worries and concerns and routine things that need to be worked out. And then that leads naturally into the third page of what are my hopes and dreams for my family? How are we gonna handle some of these things that are different? And maybe some things are different for the better and some things are different for the worse. What are we going to do differently as a family to move forward and how are we going to support each other? 
We at The Caring Place um, hope that we can be supportive to you, we, and we hope that you're safe and take care. Mm -hmm.